everyone and welcome back to Yosemite Valley. Welcome back to the normal Yosemite Valley. The aquatic house is done, even though we have a little part of the aquatic house in today's episode. But today we are going to tackle the area in front of it towards the actual um, koala house, which is on the left hand side. But as always, thank you so much for clicking in. I really hope you are going to enjoy today's episode. And also there will be something hidden in today's episode. It's a little code word. I have some games again to give away, so keep uh, well, stay with me, I should say, uh, throughout the episode. I'm going to give you the code word somewhere in the video. So stick with me. There are some cool game codes I'm going to give away. And um, please make sure to comment down below because uh, the code will be given away um, to one of you guys commenting under this video. So that said, I also would love to re-encourage you. Is that even a word? Re-encourage you? Anyways, encourage you um, to consider subscribing if you haven't already. This would uh, help me out a lot to keep this uh, wonderful channel growing also to you know uh, tell YouTube that my videos could be shown to other ones as well because lately again the YouTube uh, YouTube algorithm oh my lord what a word uh, actually really ignores me <laughs> for a good matter but well whatever you know that's that's how it is right now we are all we are all starving uh, for an uh, an update in this game and I'm I'm changing a few things you know here and there so before we talk about that bridge which uh, offers a lot to talk about to be honest uh, we talk about one thing which is very important to me. For those of you who are in my Discord, they know already. Um, they do know, obviously, that I am starting a Showcase Sunday. Yes, you heard it right. Um, and I wanted to quickly use this video to talk about this. Now, I have said for a good matter of time, and my opinion on that really didn't change that much. Um, I, I said that I don't want to do too many showcases anyways, because I feel like this is making content and, and effectively also money out of you know content other people have created and it's not my own and i really i you know it really goes against my idea of of this you know platform youtube and, and content creator because it kind of you know the word content creator is also based on the the word creation um, and in German you would say Gestaltung, which is again something else than creation, it's not the same word, but it means a lot more. It means that you bring your own spin into it, like your own character, your own vision and stuff like that. So I really, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of these kind of showcase channels in general, simply because they really don't do much um, except talking about stuff that others do. Now, why do I still do this now? You might ask yourself, which um, I guess is a very fair question. Um, the amount of people asking for that lately has been incredible. Um, also, our wonderful friend Mr. Paul Slay has stopped doing his YouTube channel. He's done some of the showcases, the amazing ones, um, but uh, he stopped doing it for, for a very good reason. He's going to focus a bit more on his family um, and stuff. So that is really, really good. Um, and everyone should definitely respect that because family, health and wealth and friends and stuff, everything comes first um, and it's not his main job. So definitely understandable. But anyways, um, I will then continue on with a little showcase. It's going to be a little different, so those of you who want to be, you know, part of it, make sure to join my Discord. There is a thread for it, and everything is explained in there. I don't want to tackle too much in this video because that's not, you know, it's not the content of this video. I just wanted to quickly tell this to you guys because that's going to be very important if you want to be one of those, um, you know, who... Uh, give the zoo to me or uh, to me or kind of not even a zoo maybe it's just a habitat or maybe it's a building and i'm going to showcase this on sunday so make sure to join in um have a look in there and then uh, you'll see what i'm up to and uh, what is the kind of spin i have on it um because then again i don't want to make it like a normal tour so yeah it's gonna be kind of cool now let's talk quickly about this bridge i'm doing over here so we were still lacking the connection of the river that comes from one of the mountain sides and that goes into the middle um, and you know since we need to change all that kind of you know we have to go over a few height differences um, I came up with the idea to make this kind of river just ripple down here by a rock uh, face over here to to the um, riverside but then again we still had this bridge and I wanted to finally make something with the water element so what I've done here I kind of created a fake water element as if the water is running through the gravel that is on the bridge and then we have some glass patterns on top of it so that you're running um, with some dry feet so to say um, onto the other side of the bridge but in fact you're seeing the water dripple through the stones below your feet I think that's kind of a cool feature um, coming towards the aquatic house so it kind of has something to do with water already and I feel like this is a kind of fun 
way to do it. I, I've never seen people doing that or just using this kind of feature in the game. However, you do see this in quite some theme parks. I've seen that in, uh, is that, I think it was a zoo in Germany. Um, and, and you know, kind of uh, this, this or not, I think it wasn't a zoo. I think it was just like a, a landscaping park or a landscape park or, or nature park or nature reserve. I don't know. I remember seeing something like that. Um, and you know, it's just a kind of cool little bit um, since we don't have transparent um, path walks yet um, or like general path that are transparent um, you kind of need to find something else uh, that works and yeah I think I just found something so I'm really happy about this um, but then again I needed to make sure that the water is somehow getting into the river and what we did over here as you can see is creating a bit of a water flow um, it was rather hard to make it look good to be honest and so I was testing a lot of things here but you guys really in stream helped me a lot because um, yeah just the shameless plug over here um, most of my stuff recently Recently is created actually on Twitch live stream so make sure to join also the Twitch crew um, lately we've been growing there quite significantly which I do love and um, everyone who's who's part uh, over there uh, you know can enjoy the emotes and the wonderful direct interaction and also which is pretty cool you can give me feedback right when it happens and you know loads of feedback from you guys just really came into this build uh, and I'm just you know I have to be plain simple honest on that I'm just enjoying it a lot lot at the moment just like these cozy evening streams oh sneaky little hint the code word is live stream okay live stream have fun again to be honest not not many of us can do go party right now in fact not really anyone can go make party right now or do something outside so um, I'm just very happy to spend time with you guys there just just having a chill relaxed evening um, it's it's really cool and I would love to see you over there, so make sure to, to check the link, it's in the description. Um, and yeah, we are just having loads of fun. And yeah, um, you can see that many of the feedbacks actually from this episode made it in here. So we used the, I want to call it the mic technique, uh, which he used in the latest Quali episode, where he used the eyes actually as kind of little water elements. In fact, it's not really water, but by using uh, the water effects and some, you know, uh, kind of shade tricks over here as I'm doing, it almost looks like water running through these stones. And you can see from a above here it really looks like streams of water and it kind of works wonders now we finally do have uh, a purpose for for the eyes um, you know for those of you watching me for a longer time you know that I am actually not the biggest fan of these eyes blocks like okay I have to, I have to put it on, on two sides on the one hand side the texture with this wonderful little parallax effect is just insanely well done so props to the artist who did this it's really cool well no pun intended, but it's really, really good. Like the texture is awesome, it's high res, it's having this little perspective in there, the reflection is great, but the color, the color is just deep blue. And for the matter of realism, they have a point there. They do have a point by saying, hey, that's how it is in real life. If you go for the Arctic ice, that is true. But the problem is most of the ice you would use in like a zoo or in let's say 90% of the situations that are not Arctic, the ice is not that bluish. Um, it, it's a matter of, well, how clean it is, obviously, how clean the ice is, and obviously also how the lightning in general, the lighting in general is in that environment. And so in the Arctic environment, the lighting and the sunlight and stuff is just so much different, also because of all the reflections of the white areas around the snow and stuff. So yeah, I would have loved to at least have a variant of it, like having this blue ice is nice, but then just like a toned down version of it, which is a bit more white grayish, because that would have been so much more usable um, for so, so many purposes. So I really, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I shall have hope, but Frontier, if any one of you, any of you wonderful developers, you know that we still trust in you and, and, and love you for, for what you do, if, if you have a chance, please make sure to, you know, change it accordingly and give it to us, please. Just, you know, you can you can give it to us in the Antarctic pack if you ever do one, and then you're just pretending that this is, uh, th that this was always meant to be there, okay? So that is kind of, kind of the idea I have in my mind. Um, it, it also, I, I give it for free to you, so you don't need to pay any licenses for this idea. I'm giving it for free. See, that's that's how big of a heart I have as a camel. Now, yeah, we've done the bridge, we've done a lot of nature, um, and the last thing I'm doing over here is the uh, gate for the aquarium house, so basically the entrance. I don't really know, but 
for those of you who've seen already the tour, it was already included. Um, I'm quite happy with how this turned out, to be honest. It was a little bit tricky, to be honest, in uh, in this scenario because, yeah, I'm, this bridge over here, like where we were starting, I'm not entirely happy with it. So maybe I have to relocate that again because I just don't like how the bridge is just running down into the entrance all of a sudden. I think it's just a little bit too steep there and you would not necessarily have it like that. You know, just imagine you have some gates that have maybe also like an like an airlock in there potentially. That's at least what I had in my mind. And then you have, for example, like a wheelchair, wheelchair person or someone else with like a like a kinder wagon, uh, how do you call this? Is this kinder wagon in English as well? It's a, or is it like a buggy for kids? I think it's a stroller, right? Um, I think the real word is stroller. I've seen kinder wagon as a as a word in English too, but I think it's stroller is the um, it's like the real word for it. So just imagine having that, you would just like completely crash into this, and uh, you potentially would not do that. But whatever. So I'm yeah potentially changing changing the bridge accordingly. I really do hope that this works. Because the water level is quite low, so we should technically be able to make this bridge a little bit lower um, and just have a bit more of a straight entrance. But since the bridge isn't done yet, um, we can we can still uh, assume that this is going to change. Yeah, you can see um, we have again a little bit of the Ricey font going on right now uh, and calling it the aquarium. Now, that's a very sad topic. Uh, there, <laughs> there is a reason why I called this aquarium over here aquatic house first now in my mind i had the, the high hope that we would get a aquatic dlc and i have made a video why i was assuming so and i really thought so i really was convinced that if there will be a bigger dlc around each the anniversary it might be aquatic however and that is the that is the big issue here I thought, okay, if I want to do a building that is not connected to that, I'm definitely going to change the name of it into Aquatic House because the naming Aquarium should have been reserved for like a proper aquarium that is with the in-game features. But now as this is not happening, actually, um, I thought, why not, you know, call it what it is? It's an aquarium. So yeah, I mean, if there is still coming an Aquatic DLC, I will have a second Aquarium, I guess. But since this is done and there's no confusion uh, to this anyhow, um, I, I just may well call this one Aquarium right now. And that is the sole reason why it is called Aquarium. But yeah, so that's that's a little bit uh, my thought process that was behind. Um, sometimes, you know, sometimes this is what happens if you try to plan something that you can't plan. And um, yeah, also sorry for sounding a bit nosy right now. At least I hear it myself. I don't know, it's too too bad for you. Um, I think it's not, you know, I, I have eaten something very spicy and um, my nose still hasn't regulated uh, again, um, but it was very tasty. So yeah, I guess um, that's, that's all I can say. The last thing we are doing over here is just the gate, uh, which in fact is going to be like the airlock. But other than that, guys, I am very thankful that you guys still enjoy this series. I mean, I, I've talked too much about this lately, but you know that uh, there's a little bit of a low time with the game, with the channel, which is fine. Don't worry at all, guys. I'm not like super mad or whatever. I still enjoy this as much as before. It's really cool. So thanks to every single one of you watching until this very point in time. I really hope you had a good time watching this video. I have a good feeling you did, and I did enjoy it as well. Now, stay safe, everyone. Have a good time, and I see you in the next one. Goodbye.